Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today my gorgeous client Alison has come in. We've done a fresh set on her. Her nails had been battered on holiday um, and so we just decided to do a nice fresh set. So I've done all my prep work and applied my clear base. I sculpted that out um, using CJP Crystal Glass and their light pink butterfly nail sculpting forms and then using the new colors from the new released collection from cjp and i'm going in the first little like light blue shimmery color is called robin's egg the yellow is called sunny days and the other blue is called aquamarine absolutely stunning colors just been waiting for some colors like these for ages so really happy that they've just been released so I'm just kind of doing, I just said to my client, we'll just play, we'll just go with the flow. So this is just totally made up on the spot. So I'm just coming in with some glitter at the tip there. I didn't want to like put loads of glitter in. I just wanted like a glimmer, um, like a little shadow of glitter. Um, And the same goes there. The two glitters that I'm using are um, Persian Prince, which is the blue one from the Glitter Fairy. And the yellow one is from the Sonia Williams Kerry Kez 2107 collection. And it's absolutely one of my faves. Just so sparkly. So sparkly. So I just picked up a bead, but I didn't have enough acrylic on the bead. So it was kind of a little bit of a pain to like move and maneuver so what i did was just pick up a really wet bead of crystal glass and just place it on top and as you can see it just allows me to like nudge that glitter um where i want it and manipulate it into place and flattening it down all at the same time as well so i'm just going to get the nice coverage there because there are like some chunkier bits in this mix and then there are some finer bits that you can get to when you get to a little bit lower in the pot so i'm just going to make sure that i um get them out and then i'm going to do ombre that with persian prints so we've got like a nice beautiful glitter ombre and you can just see how when the light is cold just look at that bling i love it sorry i keep sniffing as well my hay fever is being a bit of a pain actually it's not been too bad this year if i'm honest normally it's like really bad but at the minute i just have a bit of a snivel Anyway, so middle finger is going to be just a full, look at that glitter still shining over there, like, look at me. Yeah, it's going to be a full nail of sunny days. So I just try and get the cuticle area nice and neat with a few beads first. Make sure it's got the nice opacity that I want, make sure it's nice and like, you know, nice even around the cuticle area. And then I'm going to pick up a larger bead and just walk that down the hole of the nail, just like so. So on the index finger, I'm just going to do a marble with all three of those colours. Uh, so I'll just pick up all three of them on my brush, place at the cuticle area and just get that area nice and neat first. I have already got my clear layer down, so, you know, I just like to make sure the colour looks nice and neat around the cuticle. So then I'm just going to try and work this marble. I did probably use the colours a little bit too wet, uh, but never mind. Didn't this, like, yellow and blue, me and my client were saying that it reminds us of, like, refresher sweets? I love those sweets. But the pink one's my fave. But, yeah, the blue and yellow, like, refresher. But, yeah, she had, like, really, like, bright neons for her holiday. She just had them on for, like, four weeks. So, it was nice to just kind of go a little bit more pastely and still fresh, but not so in your face. So yeah, I'm just going to do a marble and then I'm going to just stick some glitter in the marble and make it look really beautiful. 
So just covering up any little gaps with colours that I've missed. As you can see, like the aquamarine kind of takes over the duck egg. Duck egg, the robin's egg blue. So you don't really get to see much of that colour in this set, if I'm honest. But never mind. I'll save it for another set. Have any of you like, ordered any of the CJP colours, the new collection? Have you bought the whole collection or have you just bought a select few? Let me know in the comments because it's interesting to see what people go for. So I'm greedy, so I got the whole collection. <laughs> but what ones did you go for? Or let me know. So again, coming in with that Persian prints on the index and then also using some of those little gold specks from the gold mix as well on there. So we've got a bit of everything. And then we're going to go on to the fun. So I seen Nails by Annabelle do this on her channel with three glitters. And I was like, yes, I'm going to do that on this thumb. So thank you, Annabelle, for that idea. So I'm just going to come in with Persian prints, bring it down like one side. Oh, we're just going back to that jewelly moment. Like oh, when that glitter catches that light and it sparkles up. If you don't have Persian prints on the Glitter Fairy, you definitely need to go and get it. She has one that it matches called um, Arabian Princess and she is equally beautiful. And then in with the yellow glitter, placing it down the other side, like on a slant. And then I'm going to use uh, one of these pre-mixed glitters. They're also in the CJP collection and this one's called Sorcery. And I actually could kick myself that I didn't use it on the ring finger where I did the glitter on there so yeah in hindsight I wish that I would have just put some of that lovely purple glitter in there never mind you live and learn but this is a pre glitter and I absolutely love it it's so pretty and then after I'm happy with that I'm going to go back and cap all of the nails in crystal glass so I think I'll just show you um, two nails of me capping because it's quite boring really isn't it the capping bit I think the design's always the best bit and I didn't leave filing in today because I forgot to press record I was going to and then just forgot because I was hot and flustered um, so I didn't bother recording the filing but I did leave the top coating in so I'll come back instead of carrying on rabbiting your head off when it gets to that So here we are, I filed and all that, cleaned away the dust and now I'm using CJP Tech Free Top Gloss and I'm just top coating all of the nails, making sure that they look shiny and beautiful. I just wanted to get that bit of dust off my thumb there that I noticed because it was really bugging me. And I think the top coat is my favourite bit, it's like bling, shutting. I did try and make my client have crystals on that middle finger, but she didn't want them. She's not a crystal person, which is really weird considering the the nails she has are always quite out there. But she's not a fan of crystals. Like, who don't love crystals? Strange woman. But I love her so much. I am so grateful for all my lovely clients. So 
So after these cure in the lamp for 60 seconds, I'll come in and cuticle, use cuticle oil to nourish those cuticles. Um, and then I've left a video and some pictures at the end for you to see. I really hope you loved this set. I absolutely love creating them. It was really nice to just sit and relax and do a lovely set of nails. I was really happy with. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.